In what is dubbed as the first of its kind surgery, the US surgeons have successfully implanted a heart from a genetically modified pig in a 57-year-old man. The University of Maryland Medical School said in a statement that this historic procedure took place last Friday. This happened after the patient, David Bennett, had been deemed ineligible for human transplant. He had had previous heart surgery, so it took a while to, uh, to prepare the operative site such that we could remove his heart and replace it with that of the, uh, of the animals. That process took uh, a few more hours and uh, really towards the end of the, of the afternoon we were prepared uh, to uh, discontinue the surgery and test the new heart in its new environment and uh, we were quite pleased that uh, as we separated from the heart-lung machine the animal heart was uh, functioning by my eye at least, just about as normal as we could have expected. 57-year-old David Bennett is said to be doing well three days later. He's currently being monitored over the next few days and weeks to determine whether the transplant provides life-saving benefits. He's awake, he is um, recovering and speaking to his caregivers and um, we hope uh, that uh, the recovery that he is having now will continue. We've never done this in a human, and I, I like to think that uh, uh, we, we have given him a better option than what continuing his therapy would have been. But whether it's a day, week, month, year, I don't know. Meanwhile, researchers hope procedures like this will usher in a new era in medicine in the future. This recent transplantation of pig heart into human being is a very important step closure to solving the donor organ problem in future and it is possible only because of the years of research, hard work and dedication which have been put in. This pig was genetically engineered and gene editing was also done. Three genes were taken away and six genes were put in so that this organ is not rejected by the human body. The new immunosuppressants were also used so all this opens many opportunities for future for patients who are having end-stage heart failure and waiting for transplant and are dying because of the donor scarcity, not giving them this opportunity.